In this video, I'm going to show you how to add fonts into Photoshop. Now, I'm a big fan of this site called dafont.com. It's very easy, it's very simple, and most of the downloads are free. So if you want to download a font, all you have to type in is what you want to kind of search for. So I'm, I'm just going to type in Disney and see what that kind of comes up with. And just for this example, I'm going to download the first one here from uh, Walter. So what you're going to want to do is just come over here to download and hit your download. And then you can just kind of open this up if you want. And this is the file, the actual file. So what we're going to do is I'm a big fan of making different folders for different things. So I just made a fonts folder. And I'm going to click and drag this over to my fonts folder. And then what you want to do very simply is to double click on the actual font itself. And it's going to give you a preview. And then it's going to ask you to install. So I will hit install. And this is done on a Apple product. It might be different for your Windows and the latest version of Photoshop. So after you've hit installed, you want to X out and go to your Photoshop file here. I just had something open, nothing really specific. And go over to your type tool. And then we can search. We can search for that font and we got to remember what it was called. So it was called Walter. And here, here it is right here. It, it always gives you a sample of what the actual font looks like. And then we can just type anything we really want to here. I'm just going to type in Walt Disney. And here we go. Now you have a brand new font, certain style. And you can do this for any other font that you want. I, I did do a test one with a Harry Potter font. So I'm going to type in Harry P because that was the name of the actual font. So I'm going to click that. And then I can just go in here and type in Harry Potter and it works the same way. So there you have it. That is a very quick and easy way on how to add a font into Photoshop and have some custom pieces. Hope you guys liked the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.